Hi everybody, welcome to day 8 of the Guardian Angel Messages and Light Language Activations. So what we do is we look at the angels that have showed up for this message today. Um, we go through what all their qualities and associations are and then we connect to them, call them in and bring through a channeled message and healing with light language so the best way to receive this is to open your mind to the messages coming through open your heart ground yourself and allow the sounds to wash over you today's message is very much about releasing blockages and obstacles that are in your way in all areas of your life and so where you're putting effort and not having an impact, we're shifting that. So the first angel is pronounced Hehehe. It's the God of the Trinity. Dates are October 14 to 18. Zodiac sign is Libra. And the angelic choir is the Virtues. The associations and qualities are dedication and faithful servant, vocation based on spirituality, spiritual guide, shepherd of souls and missionary, faith in spiritual wealth, protection against enemies of spirituality, sacrifice, leadership and wisdom, courage, the meaning and purpose of life, knowledge and vision, meditation while in action, luck in travel and friendship. Uh, the next one that wants to come through is the High God, Ameme. So, rules the sign of Sagittarius, December 8 to 12. And from the Choir of Principalities, freedom and independence, success in business and society, memory, recognition of own mistakes, atonement, correction and karma, courage, ardour, abundant vigour and emotional strength, caring for, supporting and comforting others, charisma and leadership, social and harmonious life, making peace with enemies, faithfulness, humility, simplicity, patience and the third one is the god of source wisdom damebe damebe february 10 to 14 sign of aquarius choir of angels wisdom and diplomacy protection against bankruptcy luck when traveling Maritime trade and fishing, activities related to water, purity, sweetness and goodness, altruism and generosity, dedication and unconditional love, success in business useful to the community, emotions and feelings, resolution of compromised situations. So there's a lot of resolution of disharmony, um, places where you've had to compromise, where there are obstacles in the way, um, and there's an abundance feeling about this reading as well. So it's bringing success, but it's also bringing abundance. Um, so like protection against bankruptcy. And the, the, an additional card came in from the Archangels of Abundance pack. Um, and it was obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement in your projects. Stay centred in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So yeah, really feeling that completion of karmic debt, completion of lessons that your soul had chosen for you to learn um, for its own expansion uh, to overcome those challenges is mastery so our soul often chooses these challenging experiences in order 
to master what it is that they're bringing to us that feels hard and in mastering that takes us up to the next level so I do feel that that graduation that moving upwards um, and into the open so I'm seeing this through um, the, the water angel the Dumebe is is that floating to the surface of the water breaking through up to the light um after you know really mastering the water world and being in those depths of that and the darkness so the dark depths and coming up to the surface to the light and then if I'm looking back at the second angel, Ameme, with her arms in the air, again that feels like a rising up. Um, a rising up into the next level, up into the light, so releasing density, going higher. All right, so I'm just feeling the heart and the solar plexus filled with that higher light, with that unconditional love, the light, um, the lightness of a feather, the, the release of the density, the release of the obstacles. Yeah, very strongly feeling this movement upwards, like a floating upwards, um, floating in the water, floating in the air, floating higher, being pulled up by the ascension currents, Air currents, water currents, energetic currents. Okay, so hair, hair, hair now. Really bringing that spiritual truth, that spiritual mission into your embodiment so that you're walking and talking it so you're connecting to your higher wisdom your higher spiritual truth in every moment in all that you do so i'm feeling this very much around the thyroid and parathyroid glands it's helping you also speak your truth and speak with that gentleness, vibration, spiritual truth and abundance energy. Releasing any energy of lack which was in that um, bankruptcy consciousness poverty consciousness uh, that we're protected against in this reading so it's really removing that and embodying abundance frequency abundance thinking speaking with abundant consciousness abundance consciousness yeah, and I'm feeling that moving all the way down the esophagus, through the sternum, uh, down into the earth grids, 
releasing out the back of the neck. The neck is where you nod or shake your head, agreeing yes or no. That changes when you're doing that from an abundance perspective. You would make different decisions. Feeling that through the diaphragm and the solar plexus, through the lower back where you support yourself, through the rib cage at the back, uh, the adrenals and kidneys. The temple switches like your GPS, um, dis discerning your direction forward, your navigational equipment, that's altering to an abundance consciousness led by the desire of your soul's purpose. Releasing that atlas area. Down through the feet chakras, into the earth grids. Releasing the pelvic floor. Carrying you even higher. Coming more into embodiment, cells of your body really accepting that elevated version of self the elevated navigational equipment, the elevated version of living life without obstacles and blocks. Geared for success, geared for ease and joy, learning through ease and joy and manifestation rather than through challenges you've graduated from the challenges you're into mastery now now you're mastering joy and bliss and abundance and aligning to soul <sighs> feeling that being received in the abdomen the sacral chakra the higher point and the base chakra can feel the base chakra elevating in frequency, upgrading. Yeah, and really dropping into the earth with a higher vibration. Yeah, there we go. Dropping in through the heart, really feeling that settle into the heart, into the base. The crown is open, connecting to higher self, higher mission. Yeah. The spine feels really cleansed and clean, the fascia on the spine. The lungs feel full of high vibrational light and life force. Yeah, getting the namaste sign. Angels are stepping back. Thank you very much. So an expansion out through your energy field. As your seeds of energy go out into the world. Meet their correct targets. Of where they can be of the most potency and fruition. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So that was an activation. Listen to your bodies when you need to rest, when you need to be active, what you need to be active in, what food you need to eat, drink a lot of water to help that move through. Blessings, everybody.